Hi guys and welcome back to Trash Arts News, where we bring you the latest in all things trash arts. Today we're starting a new segment called Trash Artists, where we feature the talent from behind and in front of the camera. Today we'll be looking at Chris Mills, who you may recognise from Stream Mail Music Television, The Making Of and Maniacal. Here's a quick interview with Chris. I started off acting doing amateur dramatics. Uh, first started with a company called the SSA, the South Sea Shakespeare Actors, and did a, a few shows with them, a few runs. Um, really, really fell in love with acting when I was back in college though. Uh, I did uh, advanced acting at A-level and I did a performing arts uh, BTEC national diploma and that was where I kind of really fell in love with it. But my first real experience with it was amateur dramatics and being an extra or a supporting artist on uh, a few different film sets uh, across the country. The kind of characters I'm interested in are characters that are removed from me as a person. So anything that's quite different to me if I have to put a lot of uh, work and effort into understanding a new mindset or trying to find something relatable to a character that I wouldn't usually relate to, I find that interesting, uh, which is always good. It keeps you, uh, keeps you interested in the project that you're doing um, and allows you to really develop that character. So far for Trash Arts, I've played quite a few characters. Um, I've done everything from the good kind of boyfriend character um, in films such as Toxic Schlock, um, I've gone to then play uh, a, a rival filmmaker who's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder um, as Paul Renoir, so uh, a bit of a bit of an asshole sometimes, but I think there's a glimmer of, of light there in him. Uh, and then you've got other things like Lonely Hearts, where I play an absolute sociopath, uh, and that was actually difficult to watch that performance back because it was it was so so different. Um, but yeah, there's there's been quite a few things as well, anthologies. Uh, we've done a, a few of those together, uh, most of which have got distribution as well, which is brilliant. They've ended up on, on places like Amazon Prime. Um, yeah, I think Maniacal was a really fun one, uh, although I didn't have much to say. Uh, I had a lot to do as the stooge, which was always good and uh, a joy to support um, Phil Linden acting in the, in the main role as well. Thanks again for tuning in to Trash Arts News. For daily updates, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.